So her district was actually won by President Trump, uh, or sorry, Biden in 2020. And then uh, the Democrat there won by 13 percentage points. So this isn't like small margins. This is actually very big. Talk about some of those things that you have been doing to reach out to Hispanic voters. I mean, what are you hearing from them, what they care about? Why are they willing to switch their vote? Hispanics have very conservative values. You know, we're a community of faith and family and economic freedom. And so really, again, we align with the Republican Party and we are seeing these gains because the RNC and our sister committees are investing heavily. We have 25 staff um, in Texas. We have five community centers, four solely dedicated to Hispanic and minority outreach. And I really want to brag on these community centers. Uh, the chairwoman, Ronna McDaniel, has made these investments earlier than ever, opening these community centers to have a dialogue, to really make sure that not only are we sharing what Republicans have to offer, but that we can get feedback in return and better serve these diverse communities. And these investments are paying off. We're building up from the ground up, hiring from within the community, recruiting volunteers from within the community. In Texas alone, we made over a million voter contacts. In Myra Flores' district, 160,000 voter contacts. And again, she is an incredible candidate and we are so excited to have partnered with her for her victory.